Sheridan. Sheridan, what's wrong? I thought I was there. I was in the living room. It's okay. You're okay. Where am I? You're in your cottage. You're having that dream about that night, weren't you? My hands, they were covered in blood again. Oh, my God, Ethan. It's just a nightmare. You're all right. It's okay. Well, I want to go away. Why can't I stop thinking about that night? You will. After all these years, and it still haunts me. Shh. Why can't I believe what Julian's telling me? If it is just a dream, if it's all in my head, it shouldn't be like this for me. Should I believe him, Ethan? Should I believe what he's telling me? Sharon, we're going to get through this. I'm not going mad, am I, Ethan? Of course not. It's terrible to think that I can't trust my own brother. But how can I believe Julian's story of what happened that night? Well, I have to say, if anyone but my father would have said your story about the body and the bloody hands was a dream, I'd believe them. So you don't trust him either? I've begun to realize that my father may not be the man I once thought he was. He has some pretty bizarre notions of morality and truth. So what are you saying? I shouldn't trust him? No, no. I, I want you to believe him. I don't think you could kill someone, Sheridan. There's no way. I want to believe that, Ethan. It seems so real. Look, I was in the house. I was upstairs in bed. I mean, I heard you scream, but I didn't see anything. Wait a minute. What? If you heard me screaming... Yes? Why didn't you come to me that night? I don't... It's not something I... I couldn't tell you. Ethan, you know something. I... What? Ethan, tell me. Why didn't you come to me that night? Ethan, if you heard me screaming that night, why didn't you come to me? I didn't come to you that night. Because it wasn't the first time I heard you scream. What? There were other nights. I guess I just got used to it. And you'd scream, I'd come and find you in bed or sleep on the living room couch. I don't remember those nights. I do. And I remember them very well. It was awful. I hated seeing you suffer like that. But you never told me. No one did. Why? I was told not to tell you. I, d I was a kid. I was a few years younger than you. I didn't question my parents or Grandfather Alistair. They told me it was better not to remind you since you didn't remember anyway. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> no. What? If I screamed on other nights, then my memory of the body is not as definite as it is in my mind. I mean, how could I have found a body every time I screamed? That's why I have to say my father could be telling the truth. It's just another nightmare. Oh, Ethan, I want to believe that. My life would be so much easier. Believe it, then. Sheridan, what else do you have? I don't want to lie to myself. I can't. I understand. There are just too many questions about that night. Nothing makes sense. Why, after so many nightmares and, and so many times of screaming, why did I wake up that night? I remember so specifically that I had blood on my hands and a body under a sheet was put into a coffin. We'll solve this, Sheridan, I swear. And then what? What if we find that there was a body? It doesn't seem possible. You and I went to the newspaper morgue recently and checked the old newspapers. There was no account of a body being found or a murder happening in Harmony during that time period. Hold on a second. What? Of course. Tell me, Ethan. <laughs> the coffin. What about it? Where could our family find a coffin on such short notice? The funeral parlor. 
The one the family always does business with. It has to be on the records. Nathan, I don't know if I would want to find out if a coffin was delivered to the house that night. I mean, if there was, then that would make me a murderer. If you want to scrap this idea, it's fine with me, but I can't think of any way else to... No. Let me go change. I want to go to the funeral home. I have to know the truth, no matter what it is. No luck, huh? Well, the inventory records on this disc don't show anything unusual. I'll have to try another one. You're Mr. Ethan Crane, right? Yes, sir. And you are? Henry DeBlanc. I, I run the place. Well, it's good to meet you. This is my aunt, Sheridan Crane. Uh, pleasure, Miss Crane. Uh, my assistant said that you were checking inventory files. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no, I have all the files I need. They cover a lot of ground. Yes, they go back quite a few years. We had them put on the computer about five, six years ago. The, the files, that is. Uh, uh, since we've been burying cranes here for over a hundred years now. <laughs> See, my grandfather was a funeral director here for many years. He um, used to tell me stories when I was wait a, a minute, child. Wait a minute. According to this, you have a coffin some years ago that was unaccounted for. Unaccounted for when? Uh, about the same time as that night. What, what's that? Nothing. Uh, you have a coffin missing in your inventory right there. Uh, what do you think happened to it? Oh, what do you know? Uh, I, uh, I, I don't know. I've, 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 I have no idea what happened there, no. Well, you think you could check it out for us? Well, certainly, Mr. Crane. Uh, no problem. had bought that coffin that it wasn't a nightmare it was real if a coffin was delivered that night to the mansion then that has to mean it wasn't a dream we can't be sure until we gather the facts that means that there was a body under a sheet that there was blood on my hands and julian is lying let's wait and see sharon then what am i going to do what if that night really did happen just as i remember well, forget about it forget about it listen to me sheridan it happened a long time ago. What can we do about it? Nothing. Ethan, I don't think I can just forget about it. I mean, not now, not after all that I've been through since I've come back from Paris. And if there was a coffin, a body, I can't live like that, not until I know who it was that I killed. Well, don't say that, Sheridan. There was blood on my hands, Ethan. Did I commit murder? Am I a murderer? You're jumping to conclusions. We have to rely on what we know. If there was a coffin delivered to the mansion that night, then I have opened a Pandora's box that I may never be able to close. Yes, I have the information you requested. Well? Well what? The casket? Oh, yes, yes. Um, w was it delivered to the Crane Mansion? No. No, but the computer inventory shows that it was. Yes, that information was entered incorrectly. You know, these things happen. Not often, but they happen. Well, what happened? Well, a, a workman uh, scratched and dented the side of it. In your dream, was the wood scratched or dented on the coffin? No, it was in perfect shape, I remember. In fact, it was metal. Yeah, th this particular coffin was uh, made of wood. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, that's quite sure. Uh, positive, in fact. May I ask what this is all about? Oh, it's nothing important. A, a small family matter. Ah, I see. We'd appreciate it if you keep this quiet, not mention this to anyone, even to my father. Well, yes, sir, Mr. Crane. Uh, mom's the word. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you for all your help. Oh, please don't mention it. I was happy to be of assistance. Well, there's no proof the coffin was in the mansion, and there's no evidence of a body under the sheet. I'd have to believe, in light of the facts that we've gathered, that no murder had ever been committed. 
Could it finally be over? Am I finally free to live my life? What's that? What? Look. There's a police car at the mansion. I wonder what's going on. <laughs>